I know it's it's hurricane season and you see this blob over Florida and you're like, what is this? This is disturbance number two. So what's going to happen essentially development into a low pressure system or something tropical or not, we're still going to get rain from this particular system. It is just a cluster of these uh, rain showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of days. An area of low pressure may form along a remnant frontal boundary near the northwestern Bahamas and southern Florida over the next couple of days. Any additional development is expected to be very slow within this area, and it would occur as the system moves northwestward across the Florida Peninsula into the Gulf of America. So that's certainly something we have to keep in mind. There's no development yet, okay? There's no system to track. There's not even an area of circulation for me to show you what specific models would actually do. What I want you to know is we were set to get rain and wind already this weekend. The rip current risk is high today, the winds are high today, and the rain's going to kick in this afternoon and chances will increase into the weekend. This is just going to add to it a little bit. We've also got another system back here, disturbance number one in the central tropical Atlantic. And this uh, is a tropical wave that's expected to move off the coast of Africa in the next day or two. We're going to track it all for you, but I really wanted to ease your mind on this and just tell you we don't have anything tropical out there yet, but we'll let you know as soon as we do.